I'm very nervous. <laughs> See, there's the standard. There we go. Yeah. Isn't that the hypocrisy? No mask? I think she Just like that last gentleman said. Trust Okay. Um, my name is Julie. I live in the Northwest Rochester. My children attend the school district. I would like to share with you a family's experience. This isn't something that's odd or uncommon, and that's the unfortunate part of the story. However, I only have two and a half minutes left to really tell you how much is weighing on my heart at this time. I don't know if you have children or grandchildren or where they go to school, and quite frankly, I don't care. My husband and I chose a neighborhood in Rochester that we felt was safe, had a nice yard, and would possibly have a good school. And whether that identifies us as being privileged or not, it's besides the point. We worked very hard to get that. My child attends JA. I don't know if you've forgotten about that hole in the wall that we call the school here. The schoolyard is completely taken over with violence. Girls being dragged by their hair, punched in the face, kicked in the gut. Garbage cans are being thrown down the stairwell at children. We have videos of all of this that's floating around Snapchat. We took our children's phones away the other day and looked at them. Girls were being dragged over the back of the buses by their necks, being punched in the face. These are 11, 12, and 13-year-old children. Children. We wanna teach our children to stand up for themselves, to step in when somebody is being bullied, to help someone. But do you know what you become at JA? Mm. Target. You know, I have worked for many, many years with violent male offenders in the state of Minnesota. And do you want to know what I would refuse to let them say? Snitches get stitches. Mm. We have 11, 12, and 13 year olds that are fully aware of that phrase. And that mm. is very scary. My 13 year old boy came home yesterday and cried. He asked to speak with a therapist. Who's going to pay for that? Because of the school. Because yesterday, a young seventh grader stuck up for himself after having raisins thrown at him repeatedly. They got into a scuffle. The other boy picked him up, slammed him on his head three times until he went unconscious and began to have seizures. And we get an email saying there was a minor schedule adjustment in our child's school day. Huh. That's not a schedule oh. this Evil. Is terrible. Something has to change, and I know my time is up. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your courage. Thank you. No comment, right? I asked you why you didn't wear a costume today, Wes. You got your hair on. Yes, I did.